property and we have live team coverage of the storms tonight. ABC 3340's Jennifer Edwards is live in the Saps community of Pickens County. Andrew Donnelly found some damage in Fayette County and Edward Birch is in Walker County to bring us more about the storms moving through right now. We begin with Jennifer Edwards. Jennifer. Dave and Brenda, I'm standing off of Martin Luther King Jr. Road in the Saps community in Aliceville, where many of the homes look like the one that is behind me here, just devastated, completely destroyed. Now, I talked to several residents in this area who lost their homes in this tornado earlier today, and they are giving thanks to a storm shelter that was built just a couple of years ago. I'm told over 200 people took shelter in this storm shelter. I spoke with one woman who says it, that's the only thing that left her alive tonight. Went to the storm shelter, and it wasn't five minutes later. You could just hear it on the outside. The storm should have been bugged. You could just hear it on the outside. And when I came outside, I couldn't believe it. In this community, in this neighborhood, I mean, it was destroyed. And I lost it. I seen my house sitting in the, almost in the highway. It was, I mean, I'm blessed. It was a miracle. Now, according to the Pickens County Medical Center, three people were brought into the hospital for minor injuries. Only one of these people was brought in by ambulance. The Pickens County Sheriff has told me that that person was brought in from the Aliceville prison, which did sustain some roof damage. I was able to talk to another woman out here who lives in a home off of Martin Luther King Jr. Road. She rode the storm out inside of a bedroom. She was able to make it out. Her and her family were safe with only the clothes on her back. She is also giving thanks to God for protecting her. It's just material stuff that can be replaced, but no life was lost here today. That's all. If it's God will, it ought to be replaced. All right. Uh, well, we have Andrew uh, uh, Donnelly. Donnelly out in uh, the field tonight. He's up in Walker County. Let's check in with him. Well, so far we haven't found any major damage to homes, but just take a look at these trees. Just a little while ago, all of this debris was blocking the roadway. And take a look back here. You can see a tree is uprooted from the ground on this owner's land. We spoke with the owners and they tell us they made it to the storm shelter with plenty of time to spare. But when they came out, this is what they saw. Strong winds ripped through their land, pulling 20 foot trees completely out of the ground. Ray Tucker says he's just glad his family got to the shelter when they did. We, we pay attention when it's bad weather. It, you know, Alabama's notorious, just not as bad as Oklahoma maybe or Texas, but when we have one, it's usually bad. What is this right here? That's just a... Thankfully, Tucker says the trees missed his home by a few feet. However, the power is still off. He says now he's just waiting to see when the family can move back into their home. And if you take a look, we just spoke with the power company. They're out here working to get that power turned on, but we do not have a time on when that will be turned on. Uh, of course, we'll stay out here to continue to look for damage and let you know what we find. Live in Fayette County, Andrew Donnelly, ABC 3340.